<laughs> wow, and he was the original owner? The original uh -huh. owner. Bought it in Germany, had it yep. shipped over here. He was a captain in the... Um, he was an army. orthodontist Our guy Donald's in the army. Over really? Uh -huh. Wow. I can send you papers to the doctor. <laughs> Oh, I got the original bill of sale though. Yeah, maybe. I think. Home in Dallas. I really? Yeah. Wow. So any. Well, this is the right place to enjoy <laughs> this car. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm he's, here. He's let it go in the. Yeah. Disrepair. Yeah, I can see that, but. Right. Which was not smart on his part. Well. <laughs> And there's all sorts of them. We have no idea. Parts, Parts and pieces. That you're welcome to. We don't know oh, okay. We have no idea. <laughs> huh? Yeah. It even has here's his name. And yes. Ah. Oh. It's Bierstein from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> wow. Luggage rack. Okay. Wow. Yeah, and there's steering wheels. In this yeah, well, uh, yeah. We saw that. Yeah, we're you're, you're welcome. All this and there's a Porsche okay. top kit. Yeah, that's a car. Supposedly that's what's in there. In the box. Uh, we don't know. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's in any condition. It, it, that it, it could, could use a new top. Yeah. Huh? Yes, but is it a good top? We don't know. <laughs> Oh, listen. <laughs> so what's in there? What's no, there's something in there. Oh no. Oh well. Oh, yes. Or maybe it's not. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and these are more car parts. I don't know if it goes with this car. Yeah, that's the jack. That's the jack for it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's, it needs restoration. Yes. Well. Hey, so do I, so, you know. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. At some point we have. And, and the guy checked over the numbers and stuff on it, and he... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. And we have the keys. Yeah. You were right. You, you don't expect to just drive it home, right? <laughs> it's inoperable condition, is what he says. He said the uh, vehicle chassis number is 157697, found to be properly located at various points on the vehicle. On the driver side door jam, on the manufacturer tag located in the bonnet in front of the gas tank, found stamped on the chassis next to the manufacturer tag. Last two digits were confirmed on the left front hinge to the front bonnet. Body color is ivory with tan interior. Paint color is correct for vehicle and consistent with factory build tag on driver door jam 6204. Paint is not original, having been resprayed at some point in the past. But body panels have numerous things and dents throughout, including the right one front fender and hood. Um, mm. Convertible top material has been completely disintegrated, including the <laughs> rear window. It's a number require complete restoration, and he's made pictures of all. Ah. He said that the engine is the 1963 model Porsche 356B. It said it came with three different engine options. The motor in this vehicle. Case casting number 62504 is engine type 616-1, which designates this is the base model engine rated as 60 HP. Engine block appears original with three-digit main case matching numbers 198 found in correct location. Engine is slash was leaking a significant amount of oil. No attempt was made to locate source of leak or start engine. Uh, transmission due to the car resting on the spare tires located under the engine and transmission and significant amount of oil and dirt residue on the transmission housing, the transmission type and gear ratios could not be conclusively determined. Interior condition is considered fair to poor. All chrome trim is pitted and corroded. Dash gauges appear original, but could not be tested for operability. Indicated mileage is 40,966. However, as with all vehicles of this type, odometer is only five digits, so true mileage is unknown without clear service, inspection, or registration documentation. I'm guessing probably that is correct because yeah, it's just let it be. sit in here. It's been sitting here, yeah. The seat condition is fair with rear seats in better shape than fronts, convertible top, and headliner in very poor condition. According to the Porsche 356 registry, 933 Cabriolets were produced in 1963, and that's what this is. This is restorable. Class 5 needs complete restoration of body, chassis, and interior. May or may not be running, but isn't weathered, wrecked, or stripped to the point of being useful only for parts. Right. 
Um, so he said he would say that this is a class five restorable. If this were, a, it would be 125,000. If it was a class condition one car in yeah, 1963. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's but just, you could spend that to do it. Well, right, and, and he does, he comes over here and he says... That's called the labor of love, that's the... Right, and he said, you know, there are numerous websites and tools to assess the cost and time associated with restoration of this magnitude, and it's a function of a lot of things. You know, the physical condition, how much effort you're performing versus outsourcing, the clarity of and discipline to achieve intended goal, mechanical electrical systems condition, and completeness of the car at the inception of the project. Complete strip of the old paint, body panel prep, Rebuild of the engine, carbs, transmission, suspension, brakes, electrical system, and gauges. Remove and replating of all chrome work. Reupholster of the interior seats, carpet, and convertible top, to name but a few major components. So he's saying it would take you one to two years to complete and probably be 100000 to 150000 head off for its new home. It's going to head off for the garage actually. See about the mechanics. First place to start. <laughs> 